How to use the application options. In this tutorial, we are going to show you which the application options are and how to use them. 1. App Info. This part is divided into four subcategories About, Contact, Social, and Links. The reason why we merge them under App Info is because in most cases, these are being set once and they are very rarely updated. In About, you can write about your radio and you can even design it a little bit using WizIWig Editor. The WizIWig Editor gives you the ability to add tables, images, and even write code in HTML. In Contact Page, you can fill the phone number, SMS number, website address, and email. In the app itself, there will only appear the buttons of the fields you filled. For example, if you didn't fill the phone number, then the button of a call to the station won't appear. In Social Page, you can fill your Facebook page, Twitter page, YouTube channel, and even Instagram. The buttons will appear only if you fill the fields. In addition, the app will show buttons of Facebook and Twitter to share or to tweet. The Share or Tweet text is what you will write in the Share Text field. Notice that the radio website URL will also be displayed alongside with the text. As for the links, through that page, you can add links that you think are important for your listeners. The links will be opened inside the application browser, so the listeners won't leave the app. Notice that only links in active status will appear in the application. 2. News Here you can update your listeners with all the news of your radio. You only need to click on Add News and the form for adding news will appear. We give you the option to write title, news body, and news summary that the listeners will be able to read before opening the full news article. You can also upload image of maximum 200 kilobytes, fill date and time, and even add URL. 3. Schedule It's another option to give your radio listeners more info about your radio show schedule. It's very easy to add new show, as you only need to click on Add Schedule and the new form will open. In that form, you will need to choose the day of the show, fill show title, and add some description. Choose the start and end time, upload an image, and even add YouTube link. The schedule in the application is divided on days, so that when the user clicks on some day, only the shows and events of that day will appear. 4. Pulse. It's very important to understand what your listeners think, and with these polls, you can make your radio more fit and personal to your listeners' taste. Adding polls is very easy. Just click on the blue button of ADD poll, fill the question, and choose minimum two options. If you need to add more answer options, just click on Add Answers, and More Options fields will appear. To see the results of your polls, you can click on Results button on the right side of each poll row. 5. Likes It's another way to learn about your radio audience by knowing what songs are liked by your listeners, so that you can play more of that type. With Top 10 Songs page, you can see the most favorite songs in your app. 6. Playlist the playlist is a very good option that allows you to give your listeners to hear podcasts or some records or even new songs that you want to publish. Through the panel, you can upload the MP3 file, add it a title and description, and publish it. Also, through the control panel, you can play the songs and see the number of the MP3 being played. 7. Chat our social chat is one of the most advanced chat that you will see in radio apps. In order to be able to write on the chat, the listener must log in with Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Near the message, the writer's image will appear. Inside the control panel, you can see all the messages and users' images. Another important option to manage the chat properly is the option to ban and delete messages. If you delete a message, the message will disappear from the chat only in the next update of the chat, which means that only when someone will write something on the chat. 
The ban option will show the user an error message when he or she will try to post something in the chat. There is another page called View Users. Through that page, you can see all the users that log to the chat. You can follow and see who uses your application and even see their name, country, language, age, and even image. Those details appear only if the client made it public. 8. Push Notifications With push notifications, you can update live your radio listeners about new shows, starting of show soon, and other news and important stuff. Notice that only listeners that accept to receive push notifications from your app will receive the messages. To send push notification, just enter that section and on the top right side, you will see the button of Send New Push Notification. After you click on it, fill your message, maximum 190 characters, and click on Send. Notice that as bigger your distribution of your app, as longer the process will take. So please wait until it finishes and don't close the window. When it will finish, it will announce you regarding the number of devices that the message was sent to. 10. Statistics It's a very important part of your app, since knowing your app distribution and use will help you to learn and improve your app. The first one is Download App. You will know how many people downloaded your app by four main types of devices iPhone, Android, iPad, or tablet. You can even see the statistics in specific dates range. Devices count only in the date when the app was opened first time. Then you have the app visits. These stats show you graphics of how many times your app was opened, no matter if it was on the same device. The stats can be shown by the number of visits, by days of some month, or by hours of specific day. Then you have the device statistics. It will give you the data of what type of devices downloaded your app, the number of visits from specific devices in number and in percentage. The language statistics is very important to know what the primary language of your listeners is. What this stats page, you can know it and even check in specific dates range. The count is the language of the visitors of your app. And finally, the country statistics. With that option, you can know what the location of your visitors is, what country your app visitors come from. The data can appear in specific date range.